Hi, this is Laura Tucker with Really Entertainment News. Today though, it's going to be a little different. I usually don't do rebuttals, but I feel I have to today after reading all the negative comments on yesterday's video. The comments are making way too many assumptions about me, my knowledge, what I do, who I am, etc. First, to defend what I do, I was accused of stealing content from other websites. Sorry, I'm not doing that. Is the basic news item from another site? Yes, but all the commentary, thoughts, and opinions are my own. Do I refer to my notes throughout the videos? Yes, but the reason is because I'm a writer and not a public speaker. I've been writing TV, movies, entertainment, news, reviews, and commentary since 2003. I write entertainment news for AllMediaNY.com and write and edit tech articles at MakeTechEasier.com. I own two websites, RealityShack.com and TroubledHollywood.com. I'm just more comfortable writing my thoughts down and reading it out loud. I grew up with a stuttering problem, so it's hard for me to do it cold without my written notes. I wrote this in the shower today. As for the attacks on me personally, I was bullied as a kid, so there have been grade schoolers and teenagers that beat you to the punch. I've been called ugly before. I don't care. As for being old, it depends on your outlook. But yes, I'm 51 years old. As for being stupid, no I'm not. Making baseless comments to people on YouTube is stupid. 12 years of martial arts taught me to never let bullies bother me again. And now to those in the anti-vaccination movement. Yes, I do know what I'm talking about. For one, I listen and read all opinions instead of just running around in fear. I have done extensive research on this, and the facts that I turned up all say that the connection between vaccinations and autism is baseless. The doctor who originally reported this connection did so on a study of only 12 children, 12. And he was discredited and had his medical license in the UK taken away after publishing a false report. Do I have a child with autism? No, but I'm sick too. I had cancer and beat it. Cancer is my bitch. I had leukemia and had to have a bone marrow transplant. For that, they need to give you several different forms of chemo to knock out your immune system. You lose all natural immunities and vaccination immunities. After I was declared in remission and after a year of treatment, I was allowed to get some of my childhood vaccinations again, but I am not allowed to get the MMR shot because it's a live shot. Because of that, I'm susceptible to others that have those diseases, just like all other transplant patients and babies who are too young for the vaccine. So when patients decide not to, when parents decide not to vaccinate their children, they not only run the risk of their kids getting the disease, but they help to spread the diseases so that people like me who cannot get the vaccine will get it too. That's how I got shingles. That's another vaccine I'm not allowed to have. So no, I don't have a child with autism and no, I'm not a nurse, but I'm acting on the advice of a doctor, a real doctor, one who has not lost his license. And to the many people who have asked, no, I will not shut up about it, really.